people are starting to hate The Walking Dead. I uh, started to notice different headlines like this recently. And I did a little research. And from what I understand, people are starting to hate it, at least um, from one video that I saw. And I kind of wondered if this was it. And I was correct. The reason why, or at least one of the major reasons why, is because of these singular episodes that don't lead to anything else. It's kind of like, that's it, you know, beginning to end. It doesn't make you say, oh, what's going to happen next? And I think that most of the other um, shows were, they were all linked. That kept you like, oh my God, oh, fuck, what's going to happen next? We're going to go. You know, so I found this article on comicbook.com. I want to see what they had to say about it because I've been hearing that the the um, ratings have been dropping even though it's still like the highest rated show on cable right now still um, this is what it says The Walking Dead's seventh season has come under quite a bit of scrutiny lately season seven has spanned merely a week of apocalyptic time despite running over six weeks already. Since Negan debuted and bashed the skulls of Glenn and Abraham, very little has happened to move the plot along, which is true. It's been weeks, oh my God, I apologize. I do, I do. I didn't expect it to be this many. <sighs> Thank God. Now, it says it's been weeks of setup for what's for what loyal fans hope will be a tremendous payoff in the back half of the season. Still, many fans are very frustrated. Their frustration is not unfounded, however. Week two of season seven introduced us to Ezekiel, for example, in one of the show's most beloved episodes. Since we have not seen or heard of the extravagant king and his thriving kingdom community, it's been over a month. That's true. I'm wondering why I was thinking that too. I was like, I was actually kind of, you know, even though I called it filler and a bunch of y'all got pissed off at me, I just meant that it kind of dragged. It was kind of slow. I understand there was character building, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know me, okay? I'm a Rickaholic and I needed to find out what the fuck was going on with Rick after seeing his friends get their skulls bashed in. I didn't want no downtime. Fuck downtime, okay? Fuck the bottled episode ap afterward. That episode could have came uh, the, the third week, okay? I needed to know what happened afterwards and how he was dealing with it. Argue with me all you fucking want. I'm still a Walking Dead fan. Anyway. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, really, a lot has happened. Has... Really, a lot has happened in Season 7. However, the storylines have been happening concurrently, but told in different weeks. Yes, that's true. If the show had meshed all of the stories together over the past six weeks, see? The fans may have been singing a different tune. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. Instead, The Walking Dead is focused singularly on one character or group in each week. Week three saw Daryl's entrapment in the sanctuary. Week four followed Negan around Alexandria for 90 minutes. Week five saw Maggie and Sasha becoming part of the hilltop. Uh, and week six dove into Tara and Heath's scavenging story, which had been all but forgotten by some fans. I actually forgot about it. Ah, uh, with two episodes left of The Walking Dead in 2016, fans are bloodthirsty and impatient as they hope to see Rick and Alexandria rise up against Negan. See? Told y'all. Shit. But anyway, um, I've enjoyed pretty much all the episodes you know i a lot of my uh sorrow came from not being able to follow rick right away it, it was the placement of the episodes it's not that they were bad 
Um, I enjoy all the episodes so far. I actually have enjoyed all. When I look back and I reflect, see, because I was very emotional. Emotional can make you speak illogically sometimes, which is really cool about being a fan of something like The Walking Dead or any movie series or whatever. You know what I mean? So, um, but when I look back, I actually enjoyed all the episodes. I didn't hate them. Um, it's just that I felt they were placed in the wrong spots. Okay. I feel as though Alexandria and all of that should have been right away with Rick and running into them again or whatever. Or maybe I, I, that's just the way I feel. I was anxious to find out. I didn't need any time, downtime at all. Fuck every other character. I need to know how Rick is dealing with this shit. And then all the other ones could have came in. I've been fine with that. Okay, so anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Are you hating The Walking Dead with how they're doing the series now? Are you not? Okay, if you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you can kiss my black derriere. And I mean that. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.